Hello. Hi there, Xiomara. Hi, Donna. Shall I have him? Okay, let me get this. Okay. Hi, Nicole. Can you hear me well? Hi, Holly. Hi, Beth. Hi, Lenny. Hi, Rochelle. Can anybody hear me well? Oh, great. You can hear me, all right? Okay, good. Hi, Carol. Hi, Essie. How are you? Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me tonight, for taking the time out of your busy schedules to be here with me. I promise we're going to have a fun and crafty time, very relaxing, because we all deserve this. Okay, great. So, today we're going to be making this shaker card using this cutie. As you know, this is the new BFF Libby Girl stamp. This has a coordinating die set. And um, we'll be making a, a shaker card with her. We'll be doing a copy coloring, a very basic copy coloring for her. And also for our background, I will be using the Soar Butterfly Stencil. This is really gorgeous. I love stencils because they are so versatile and very inexpensive. So I'm gonna make my best and try to look at the comments and see if I can answer anything. I'm sorry, um, I usually always forget about the comments, but I'm gonna do my best this time. So this, um, for the September release, we have really great examples or samples uh, using this, uh, this beauty. She's really adorable. The card that I'm, I'm going to be making today uh, is using this sentiment that says, Get well, my sweet. And you're, gonna, you're going to love it. It's, it's very simple, very easy to make. And the recipient will love it. So we're going to put our stamp aside and I'm going to bring oh just a second car stuck is not here just a second okay so yeah I forgot the most important thing my car stuck okay so here it is this is heavy cardstock. I usually use heavy cardstock when, whenever I'm using paper glaze, paper glitz. Uh, and now, before I start, let me tell you, this is now the paper glaze lax is just my favorite medium. Definitely my favorite. I mean, for me, honestly, it's very difficult to explain that the texture but once you get to play with it is oh my goodness it, i mean you, you will definitely see the difference this is not paper glitz with more uh mica or glitter no 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 this is this is different the texture i mean it's you can really play very well with this texture uh i have no problem at all with this with this texture honestly this medium it's really awesome it also uh, dries very fast and you get lots and lots of uh, it's not like uh, those sparkles from the paper glitz but I mean it's just great I mean once you see the the final result you you're gonna love it and you're gonna see how this has a beautiful shine okay so first Okay, so we're gonna be using 
my sore butterfly stencil. Oh, can you see well? So let me get this out of here. Okay. Hmm. Are you able to see the whole? Yeah, right. Okay. Okay. Sorry. So we're gonna place our stencil on the top. And I, you always do this. I use the same package. And I go around making sure I have my stencil adhered to the background. By the way, this one, uh, this stencil, is, it has been already sprayed with uh, Pixis spray. So this is probably my third time that I'm using it. And it and it already has that stickiness on the back. Okay, so I will be using my st uh, spatulas. So let me let me fix just a little bit my camera because I'm not sure if you're able to see the whole thing. Probably this is better, right? Okay, I guess. Yes, I guess this is so much better. Okay, all right. So we'll be using my spatulas, also from Picket Fest Studios. And this is part of the Nutcracker Valet Paper Glaze Ombre Lux. We'll be having individual paper glaze lux in the future very soon. So let's start i mean you don't you don't even have to to mix or do anything it's it's ready it's to completely ready to use okay so in this case because this is going to be a shaker card i'm not going to be worried about the ages of the of this panel because uh obviously the frame will be Will be, will be, will hide any imperfection or anything that doesn't go well. So, okay. As you can see, it's so it's really super smooth. It's it's like uh, how can I say it? Let me see if Nicole has the word. Uh, we've been talking about this, but I, I remember this name that we compare it to. Uh, it's not frosting. Is No, frosting is totally a different texture. Uh, this is more like whipping cream. Yes, ah, yeah. Whipping cream will, will be something something closer. Okay, so... As you can see, you don't need much. I'm, now I'm taking away all the excess and I'm trying to make this as smooth as possible. I don't know if you can see, but this is really, I mean, this made, it, it, I mean, it's, it's doing the work for you. That's it. I mean, you don't have to do anything else. That's it. I mean, no need to level, no need to to nothing, just to play around and have a good time. So now let me clean my spatula because this medium also dries very fast. And here, let's see the reveal. And there it is. You can see it was it, this was very very easy to make. I'm really satis very satisfied with the result. So I'm gonna put this away. Okay, let me. What I always do with my piece of copy paper is I put it, I fold it in half, and just put my background top. And I put it aside 
to dry. Okay, all right. And always, always take care of your stencil. This stencil is going right here on a container with soapy water. I always have soapy water uh, for my stencils when I use paper glaze, when I use paper glitz, and now obviously for the paper lacks. So it's good because we don't want those uh, anything to be stuck on our uh, stencils anyway. Either way is going to you. You will be able to get rid of everything that gets stuck on your stencils. So, but we can just save time by doing this. Okay, so now here we have our stamp, and I stamp my image using Bly Hybrid Ink Pad from Picket Fence Studios. Okay, and I already die cut it and everything. And the only reason why I did this step ahead, it's because uh, if I do it here online, my desk will be shaking. And uh, I don't want to do this. So I don't want everything shaking and moving around. But we will be doing a very, very basic uh, copy coloring for her dress. These are the colors that I will be using. Okay. Let me see. Okay. So let's start. Let me see if I can zoom it so you can. No, I can I can zoom it. Well, anyway, it's fine. This is going to be very, very very easy i'm really trying to make space here so you can see what i'm doing first i went with y18 now i'm going with y13 copy markers i really i'm not doing much here okay so now I go back with the Y13 and again right okay yeah with my Y18 and doing just some flickings here there okay Oh, by the way, before I forget, this is my final panel already dry. Of course, I did it uh, this afternoon because we don't have time when we're doing live to wait and until every single panel to dry. So you can see how it looks. It has some texture, it does, and so it has. And it has this shiny, beautiful look. And the, and the color is like a very pastel pink. It's beautiful. Okay, so let's put it away for now. And let's keep... Let's keep coloring this. So I'm, as I was telling you, it's really a basic coloring. Nothing... Fancy, fancy here. Okay, so okay. Is there? Oh yeah. There's anywhere here? Yes. Some more space here at the shoulder, and just going with my Y13, and I believe that's it. No more dress, I guess it is. All right, let me go to the next colors. We're going to be using my favorite skin colors now, which are this one. I always use this. I, I'm kind of lazy to go and find different color combinations. So I will be using 
the same that I always or most of the time that I used. And we're going to start with the lightest. Going to go over her face. And again, this is nothing fancy. Basically, I'm just adding color and just a little bit of shading. Okay, so now let's go with my medium shade, which is E01. And believe me, this copy color combination works really good for skin colors. Okay, so I'll go back with E02. And just add a little bit more of shade here and there until you feel happy about it. So let's go and do the arms. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's do this. Let's go with a02 and again it's a very very easy copy coloring here nothing complicated so everybody can do it there's no excuses here if I can do it everybody can do it that's what I always say if I can do it everybody can do it crafting is is fun it's not supposed to be perfect I I was co I was uh, always concerned about the shading and then my friend Lydia once told me hey, we don't we don't care about shading I mean we care about just having fun and yeah she's right we care about having fun but and yes let's go now with the legs I I don't always start with the lightest or with the or with the darkest colors. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, it depends. It depends of the on the image. Sometimes uh, for me it's easy to go with dark. Start with darkers with the darker one, and then the medium, and then the lightest. Or sometimes I do the opposite. But honestly, it all depends. So you just gotta know what works best for you. And once you know that, yeah, it's gonna be really easy. And as I said before, this is my favorite color pick color combination for skin colors. And yeah, that way I don't have to think about which color am I gonna use now. Uh, so yeah. But yeah, but definitely I know there are more colors for skin color, for skin. And let's go back and add a little bit more of shading here. All right, I think that's it. Well, let me fix something here. And that's and that's it. Uh, let's go. Let's color the teddy. That little teddy that this girl is holding between her arms. And these are the colors, the copy colors that I will be using: E15, E13, and E11. Okay. The stencil. The stencil is called Soar Butterfly Stencil. Here's the name. Soar Butterfly Stencil. I'm hoping to be pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm not. Okay, now let's go with the uh, teddy. And as I, as I said before, I don't always start with the uh, 
lightest or the darkest. As you can see here, I'm starting with the medium shade. But for me, it's all about the image. It's all about the image. And sometimes as small as, as the, the, the smaller the image for me, the harder to color, but we're just making something very basic. Not just, not like the flower, the, the ginger, the torp ginger that Erica did yesterday. She had to color a lot. So let's add the lightest color here blending a little bit and also here here's a space between the hands that I will be adding my darkest color because I think there will be like a darkest shadow over here okay so you can see how my my camera is shaking well that's what I don't do die cutting in lives because everybody starts shaking here my my desk is not really sturdy so everything shakes But I think the, sh the die cutting part is the easiest one, so I don't think I need to do it, right? All right, teddy bear, it's ready now. And this is how it looks. So let's go ahead and do the hair. For me, the hair is the most complicated part. So what am I gonna do now is I always uh, colored the hair like adding the highlights first. But to be honest, I'm not good at coloring hair. So I just do my best. And then I always mix. Oh, sorry, I didn't show you which colors I was going to be using. This is, a, this is not a typical co color combination. But in this case, it's gonna work for her hair. So let's do the, the darkest parts around here. And honestly, I'll just, I'll just go around here and there, adding the darkest colors. And then I'm gonna play this one I'm gonna be a uh, over the darker color again and creating a different shade but it's gonna look good so this is everything that I'm oh, sorry this is everything that I'll be doing for the hair very simple okay you can even go back again and add a bit more shading just if you want okay so yeah that's okay let's do her bow and these are the copy coloring co the copy color combinations that I'll be using yeah you're right Nicole you never leave enough space <laughs> to color the hair but it works so I will be starting her bow with the the medium one which is the RV13 don't ask me why please it's just I don't know it, it, this is how it works in my head 
since I've been copy coloring, that's that's how I do it. Some images for me I started with the, they they need to start with the medium one or, or sometimes with the lightest one, but it's what it is. Oh no no no, it's not this one. Let's go to the medium. This was actually pink, not yellow. Okay, let's do the lightest here. And I chose this copy color combination for her bow because it's going to match some this the cap case that comes at the at the sequin mix that I will be that will be using today. This I'm going to show you now in a second those sequins there are embe embellishment actually. Oh, one more thing. She has a watch here. Let's do the watch. Okay. And this is how it looks. You can even go back and blend a little bit more here. And yeah. Now it looks better. So, look how easy it was to copy color this beauty. Okay, so now we have our stamp done. I'm gonna put her aside. And, let me show you the Look at this. These are the new birthday cupcakes embellish and plus mixes. Let me open it. Ooh. That's can you see those pinks? Oh, and those such a cute cupcakes. It honestly, this is the perfect combination for a birthday card. Uh, card. And that's what I'm choosing all pinks here. All right, let's go to to create the background. I had this uh, card, cardstock. It's it's a light pink that matches uh, my my sequence. And all I did is just I die, I put a rectangular die cut on top and I cut it. And this is how it looks now. That's all I did here. So right now I will be adding the vellum. Sorry, not the vellum, the acetate. Here's the acetate. And okay. Let's start adding the acetate. Where's my okay, here's my double-sided tape. I'll be using double-sided tape because for me it works so much better. Uh, to adhere the acetate to any surface. I mean, the, sorry, oh, okay. Okay, this, uh, the double-sided tape works great in here. Very easy to, to tear apart and it's so fast. Yes, and that way we don't have like a space. I mean, sometimes the glue doesn't go all the way around. And you know, for acetates, it has happened to me. It hasn't always worked the best when I use acetate. So, but you can never go wrong when you use double-sided tape and it has to be a, a strong double-sided tape so the one that I'm using here let me show you is this one express it high tack double-sided tape uh, that's the one that I usually use all the time because I have never I never had any troubles or at all 
with this brand. Okay, so now I have added all the pieces and I'm ready to add the acetate. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, let me get a better position. Okay, this is the hardest part for me, <laughs> trying to adhere it in a correct placement, but it's fine, it's fine, it does the job. Okay, now we have the acetate already adhered, we're going to be adding some phone tape. Okay, let me see. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna be gonna be needing my scissors. Okay, so let's add the acetate. No, sorry, the phone tape. Okay, I know some people it starts in a different way. I, I think they add the they like to add the the phone tape right at the background. In my case, I I never do it that way, or at least not most of the times, because I like to close the window that I have around the 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 window shaker so in this case I'm not using those as small as those thinner strips that I usually use because this was uh, a great size and it's gonna do the it gonna yeah it's gonna work it's working actually so now Okay, now I have this. I'm going to bring my card, my A2 folded note card, plus my, my butterfly, my panel with the butterfly that I just did with a uh, paper glaze lux. Well, I, 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 this is the one that I did in, uh, at the evening. No, sorry, this afternoon. And I'll be... On this case, I always use glue. So... Because when I use... Uh, I can move things around when I use glue. I don't always get the perfect placement at the first the first time so I have to I like to use glue because you can take it out of the background and place it again and all that kind of stuff however this is a very this is art glitter and this glue doesn't give you too much time I mean, it dries really, really quickly, but for me, it's the best. I mean, I, I, I have tried others, and this works really great for me. Okay, so let's put our panel on top of the card base. Okay, so... I usually, after adhering this to my, my panel on top of the car base, I put it under some books. So it's, it will keep a straight, it will, it will have, uh, it will be very flat, but we don't have too much time here. All I'm gonna do is add this block, this acrylic block on top while we get the other stuff done. 
Okay. So let's, oh, anyways, we need to add this sequence right now. And you need to be generous because this background is is quite big, it's quite large. And you want the recipient to see all those beautiful little cap case. All right. Also, before I close my window i'm going to add uh anti powder uh anti-static powder to the sides of the foam tape so i don't get too many sequins stuck there okay as you can see this card it's very Easy and it doesn't take that much time to put everything together. The only th the only uh, thing that you need to, I mean, the only time that you need to wait is until the paper glaze lax uh, dries. But it takes probably around twenty minutes at the most. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so wish me luck here. All right, okay, so let's press here so the phone can be adhered very well. Okay, and look, there it is. We have our shaker background ready. So, now, let's put this aside for a while. Okay. Let's bring our Minimis tea. And we're going to, I'll be stamping the sentiment on a piece of paper. I chose this color because it matches my sequence. Okay, let's, let's put it in here. Okay, now, before I, let's do it this way. I don't know why I always tend to go to my right. So it says, okay, let's put it in here. And let's do this. Just a second, let me see if it's in, the, in place. I do have my uh, my grid, my cl this clear acetate, but honestly, I think it's. I think this is gonna be enough. You know how it always moves. That's why I use this. And we're gonna be using my black hybriding pad. To stamp the sentiment. Okay, just a second. This is my oh, my scrapper, my scrubber. Sorry. So, so let's press here. Let's be gentle. Let's not press too hard or it will it won't look good but you will look it, yes it won't look good I'm sorry for my English so let's stamp again because I I, I like when it's very very dark and when you usually uh, stamp using this type of ink that it's uh, usually for copy markers, you usually have to stamp sometimes like four times. So it's it's fine, it's okay. Most of, things, of the inks are that way. 
Okay, so, yay! Now it's fine. Okay, let's clean my... Okay, put it aside for now. I'll go back for my... to get my stamp back in place. And this is how we're gonna... We're gonna be putting this here. Where's my little girl? And she's gonna be he. She will be here. You can make this thinner. I mean, yeah, you can make it. But I'm not gonna be doing this because I don't have my trimmer right next to me. And I don't wanna ruin this. I'm just gonna go and trim down just a little bit here. Okay. That's it. And for this part, I'll be using a little bit of the the double-sided tape because I want I don't want this part to be floating around. And let's add a little bit of like this all right let's just make sure we get the glue right right in place okay let's take the backing of the double-sided tape and let's play this in place Let me see if it's correct. Yeah, it's correct. So let's press here. Okay. We're gonna be doing the same with the girl. Let's add a little bit of double-sided tape at the back. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. And Tom, and a little bit of glue over her legs. Just a little bit. Oh. All right, so let's put it in place. And there she is. So we're gonna trim down the excess here. Where's my, let's take this out of here. And voila, we have our shaker. Wasn't this really easy? I mean, once you get your panel with paper glaze locks dry, everything is really, really easy to put together very fast. And she's so sweet. I actually did this card for my sister. She was sick. So I thought it was gonna make her feel better. And she loved it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you some cards that I did for this uh, September release. Uh, let me take here of the stuff that I want to show you. So here's, here's another shaker. I basically did, I mean, I didn't use any glaze, any glitz or lax here. I just stamp. I stamp. The winter has come to town. Stamp. And I did a copy coloring. I also stamp and die cut some images from the winter scene building people. It ha we have the matching types for this set. And here you can see those little people here. So cute. And for my 
I did I use a combination of two different sequins here. I use this beauty which is called Winter Ladies Sequins Mix. And it's amazing. Look at this. I mean, gosh, it's so beautiful. And I mix it with Terry Skies. This was the perfect, both of them were, they were the perfect combination for this shaker here. And so I use the, we, we have those, as this is Tom said, that is, believe it is fancy Christmas sentiments. I'm not sure about the name, but it's our Christmas sentiments and they can, they have the matching dice. So this is one of the cards that I made. Here I have another one and also a sh another shaker card. And look, those, the gorgeous color that you have out of this sequence. I mean, it's just incredible. It's incredible. And for those sequins, I used a reticent, a reticent uh, sorry. I'm, my containers are new. I just got them today. Oh gosh, look. Look at all this colors gosh i love it and for this shaker card i used let me see if you can see this is called i'm sorry i don't have the package here but this is called the center flower the stencil six by six and i use the new silver belts paper glitz it's gorgeous. Look at this. You can see here all the shining. It's so beautiful. And of course, I use the new Torch Ginger Tropical Flower. This is a gorgeous one. And this took me forever to color, but you know, I'm glad I did it. So... This is another card, and look at this. Uh, this is not a shaker card, but look. Oh gosh, I don't, I don't bring, I don't have here my my nutcracker uh, paper glaze lacks with me. I'm sorry, but this is what I use for the background. Look, isn't that gorgeous? Look at all that glitter oh my goodness it's amazing honestly this is my favorite color and we do uh, and the ginger uh, the tor the torch ginger has the matching dies and also comes with this uh die so you can have the die or you can have the stamp and I and on the background I I I also use the winter lady sequence here. You can see. Beautiful, right? Okay. Yes, the samples with that flower are absolutely beautiful. Oh, let's put it in here. So this is one of my slim light -like card Christmas cards that I did for September release. I used a totally non-traditional colors for this, but I love it. You can see here, this, is, this was me using, oh, wait, wait a second. This was used, made the Santa Snow Hill, Snowy Hills dye. Right, yes. And I, I did this with using the Nutcracker Valet letter A, you can see, it's so beautiful. I mean, it's it's a pastel, very soft pink, 
but looks really 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 gorgeous and again we have uh well it's winter or is Santa let me double check okay it's winter has come to town okay and I also added some touches some accents of silver bells paper glitz here it's oh gosh I don't have the other one that it's pink prom night so I add little dots and you're not going to believe me. No, you're going to believe me. But I did just, I added the paper glitz with this tool. It comes with a different uh, shape, uh, uh, size of this rounded tool that I, I don't know what I got this for, but they work perfect for adding the paper glitz and, get, and have some accent around my cart. I did the same here. You can see. Can you see how it shines? Yeah, there it is. And for the snow here, I use a snow marker. And that's that's what it that's what I use. So I really hope you like all the cards that our design team has created for this September release. They are absolutely beautiful. And I hope you are enjoying the 77 event for this month. We really get so excited to be here every night. And tomorrow we're having Michelle again. And I'm going back on Sunday night and we have Daniel on Monday. So uh, I'll be announcing all winners on Tuesday the 21st. Yeah, Tuesday 21st. Well, I'm not sure if it's Tuesday, but it's September the 21st. And it will, again, we're going to have seven winners. So please be sure to leave your comments and well, join us whenever you can. This is uh, for us having a great time with us. Crafting is what we love, and we are so happy to be uh, showing you some of what we do here. So thank, uh, invite all your friends for tomorrow, because uh, Michelle is, as always, going to have something wonderful to, to do with us. And I'm not going to be tomorrow, because tomorrow is my birthday, so I'm going to be having a break, because my family wants to be with me. <laughs> But I'll be back on Sunday with something fun, some, something very fun, something cr very Christmassy. And so thank you so much. Uh, thank you for joining us. And uh, I'll be seeing you next Sunday. And we love you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.